Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first POA forum. Today we have a very interesting theme. We are discussing why there are fewer women in politics. The POA Forum is a broad-based public discourse platform designed to widen the existing political space for women in Ghana, for wider inclusion and active citizenry participation through a conscious effort to offer public speaking spaces to progressive women's rights activists imbued with belief in ordinary people, love for country, and practical knowledge. The mission of POA includes the empowerment of marginalized groups. This is another reason for collaboration between the Center for Social Policy Studies and POA. To achieve improvements in the well-being of the citizenry of this country, no group should be left behind. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Don Arthur. I am only here thanks to the relentless efforts of Victoria Lakshmi Hama. How can we nurture young girls, young women, to aspire and succeed in the realm of politics? Learning to be in leadership roles have to start very early in life. And unfortunately, this is something that we take for granted. We wait until everybody is fully grown and then we start coaching people to be leaders. Why there are fewer women in politics? I say there are many women are not ready, but they should be. When running for political position, many women face intimidation, harassment, and sometimes violence. And I must pause here to say that in our Ghanaian politics, we seem to approach politics more with violence and confrontation than negotiation. It is the basic structure of our governance system. And if we want to override that, when we come to finding ways, then we need to change the narrative. It will not change if we are not radical. And that is why we are thinking about an affirmative action law. Does anyone here present want to say something? Just any human being is naturally predisposed to do evil. So if we create the opportunity for people to insult and destroy long, uh, reputation of people overnight, women forever will find it difficult to come forward. Every woman is born a leader. And right from infancy, you know that everything that you are doing is leadership. But how, how do you identify yourself that I am a leader? And even that if you have identified that, who nurtures you? Who grooms you? So what? must we do for our best interest of course to be able to make the difference let's identify younger ladies who can be politicians sometimes they don't even know you call them and you talk to them you inspire them let us first understand the problem what's the problem with us why women are not going there can we do something about that because of our political system, we can only increase the numbers when we adopt an affirmative action law. And I'm happy that this law or this bill is being carried forward by Honorable Otiko Jabba. And I'm hoping it will be submitted to cabinet. We have to make men also realize that it is important that women contribute. Breaking with tradition is not necessarily offensive. We've got to find ways of getting people to come on board to understand that we've got to a point where crossroads, you need to decide whether you have more of the same or you are choosing a, di a different path that is more likely to lead us to achieve the objectives that we are striving for. What men can do, I am sure women can do better they only need encouragement to go on. Thank you very much. I'm quite overwhelmed uh, for today's program for many reasons. There are a lot of contributors to the success of this program. We have very strong team, very strong persons, informed people, supporting to make this success. And as you can tell, this is the first our forum. We are hoping that this conversation will continue. And as much as we we're able to achieve diversity in the panel. 
we want to even deepen diversity. So probably the next conversation we'll look at persons with disability and excluded women and even youth in the conversation. Thank you everybody.